Money cannot buy the honor which you have earned tonight. You make us all proud. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles the movie. 1990 was the year. Steve Barron was the director. A movie would rock the world and change my life forever. TMNT 1990 is my number one pick for on-screen versions of the Ninja Turtles. I've talked about the designs of the Turtles in the past in previous videos, and it's no secret that to me, I believe the look of the Turtles had a huge impact into why this movie was so successful. But along with that iconic look, this movie is also filled with a ton of memorable scenes and moments. There's all the moments where Raph repeatedly says, damn. which coming off the cartoon that was pretty crazy at least back then to the moment where master tatsu almost killed that foot soldier now the scenes i'm about to list off are my personal picks to what i believe are the 10 best scenes in the iconic 1990 film teenage mutant ninja turtles you may have some different picks, so feel free to let me know down below in the comment section what is your favorite scene in the movie. Now, we're about to get started, so settle in, grab a slice, and let's look at the top 10 best scenes from the 1990 film Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leonardo, meanwhile, has kept a constant vigil with Raphael. Now, to give you some context, Raph got jumped by the foot at this point, and these shots of Leo sitting, waiting for his brother, who he had been fighting with the entire film to wake up, are pretty stunning. Raph laying in the tub, unconscious, looks pretty great aesthetically. April dripping water on his back, Leo chilling with his weapon belt removed. It's a very human scene for these turtles, and the embrace Raph and Leo give each other when he wakes up. It's truly a Kodak moment and brings the team back together as four. This scene is my number 10. Let's take a look at number nine. What is it? It's time to go back. A Jose can say go back. Tell me you didn't pay money for this. The introduction of Casey Jones, the idea of Casey Jones hanging out in a tree waiting for a purse snatching to take place is pretty great and that's how he's introduced in the movie. He comes down like a bat out of hell and his look is fantastic. They got it perfect. This scene is very iconic and he and Raphael are perfect as they go at it. How about a five minute game misconduct for roughing, pal? Hey, what are you, some sort of punker? Huh? There's so many memorable lines in this scene. It gets so heated that the perps end up getting away. This iconic look of Raph in the trench coat always took me back to the 87 cartoon and the toy line that was out at the time. I always thought it was a cool nod to those versions. At least I hoped it was as a kid. But this scene ends with Raphael getting cracked and falling into a trash can and Casey gets away. Genuinely a memorable scene. That's number nine. What's number eight? Just have one sale, pal. Hey, what are you, some sort of punker? Huh? Oh, a fellow chucker, eh? Michelangelo's nunchuck duel. As a kid, this was always one of my favorite scenes, and rightfully so, it's pretty great. The turtles are fighting the foot in April's apartment when a foot member catches Michelangelo's eye. They start the duel off, and I always thought Mikey's face looked pretty funny in this scene. They definitely used a different head. I want to say they had heads for when they spoke and when they were in action, and this could be like an action one, but I could be wrong. This unforgettable scene is capped off with Mikey spinning the chucks by the chain on the tip of his finger, kind of like a basketball, defying the laws of physics, causing the foot to get mad and start fighting the turtles. It breaks off into this larger fight scene at April's, and it's pretty great, and I'll probably touch on it on another video, but that's my number eight, the Michelangelo nunchuck duel. Let's move on to number seven. Got any cigarettes? Regular or mental? 
The introduction to the Foot Clan headquarters is one of my favorite parts of this movie. It's one of those scenes that's just so ingrained into my mind. The way the music hits when the scene starts. The grunginess to the set, the chaos of it all. Kids are smoking cigars and gambling. Every parent's worst nightmare all in one location. Some older kids are fulfilling online orders. It's kind of like an Amazon fulfillment center of sorts. Sam Rockwell can be seen walking about giving new members tours. As a kid, I wanted to be there so badly. It just looks so awesome. Executed perfectly in my opinion. One of those scenes that's just so unforgettable. All right, what's number six? Gosh, I do hope there's more of them. <laughs> The fight in the turtle den, this scene is kind of underrated in my opinion. It comes towards the tail end of the film. I don't see it pop up too often in discussions. The turtles are finally back together in the den, and the foot thinks they're going to creep up on them, but the turtles handle business. Some of the best action bits are in this scene. Leo doing flips and beating the crap out of foot soldiers, Donatello flying kick from out of frame, roundhousing some fool. The film score starts to get really good at this point. I mean, it's great throughout the entire thing, but it starts to ramp up at this point and it's pretty terrific. Michelangelo and April coordinating together to take out a foot soldier. Donatello skateboarding down the sewers while hitting foot soldiers with his bow staff. There's so many little nuggets in this scene that are just perfect. Sure. How you doing? Hi. Nice night. Mm-hmm. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Michelangelo and Donatello waiting for the pizza guy. This is one of the few scenes I remember seeing on the big screen. I want to say it just may be the most quoted scene of the film. This is such a great shot of the two. Up until this point in the movie, you would see the turtles, but in this scene, the lighting, the close-up, it was truly like we were seeing the cartoon we all knew and loved come to life in front of our eyes. They were perfect. The delivery guy looking for the address and Michelangelo going back and forth is fantastic. The way the set is dressed up above on the street level is so lived in. Everything has character. The buildings, the floor, it's perfect. It's one of those scenes that just sticks with you. Ah, come on. I couldn't find a place. You are here because the outside world rejects you. This is your family. I am your father. The introduction to the Shredder is so boss. But let me take it back. So a kid just got his ass kicked for lowering his eyes to an enemy. When we hear the call for everyone to go meet with the Shredder. His entrance is legendary. They roll out a carpet for him and everything. I'm pretty sure there's a scene that didn't make the final cut that shows him sitting down on the floor and kicking some foot soldier ass because he can. I almost wish they would have left it in. But this movie, to me, is so perfect that I wouldn't want to mess with it, to be honest. The look of his cape as Master Tatsu is rolling it back always looked so soothing, like, like how those videos of people cutting Play-Doh makes you feel. That texture is on point, and then the reveal of the spikes on his suit, man, what a perfect execution when it comes to the look of the Shredder. I wouldn't change a thing. They changed it up for part two, and it's not that great in my opinion. We'll get to it some other day. His speech is moving. The music is perfect. What a cool scene. A work of art, people, I'm telling you. We're getting down to the final three. Let's have a look at what they are. We were awesome, bro. Awesome. Yes, dudes and dudettes. Major League butt kicking is back in town. Oh, yeah. The opening celebration. The turtles just beat up some criminals and left without a trace, except Raph. Anyways, the team can be heard coming around the corner and this is as the film is starting. We haven't seen the turtles yet, at least at the time. The music is pumping up. You can see their shadows. The iconic logo comes across the screen. And this is when we got our first look at the turtles. Every time I rewatch this movie, this scene gives me chill still. The banter back and forth is so natural. The voices all blend together perfect like musical instruments. It's beautiful. Raph in the background sulking is just the cherry on top. 
Man, look at Leo's expression when he's looking at Mikey while Donnie's trying to come up with a cool word to say. The way they were able to perform expressions on these animatronics is just out of this world. What a scene. One for the books. That's number three. Let's check out number two. Oh, man. Right. You fight well in the old style, but you've caused me enough trouble. Now you face the Shredder. The final fight with the Shredder is gorgeous. The turtles are still trying to be lighthearted in the beginning. The Shredder? <laughs> uh, maybe all that hardware's for making coleslaw. But soon realize they're in over their head. One on one each turtle tries to take him on, unsuccessfully. It's so intimate and quiet too. Truly a thing of beauty. Not screaming all up in your face. It's slow and methodical in its approach. One turtle up at a time. The turtles regroup as they realize they're slowly starting to lose the fight, but Leah doesn't give a crap because this guy knows where Splinter is. I've only got one thought. This guy knows where Splinter is. They all charge at him together, and these are the best fight scenes for me in the movie. The lighting, the framing, the moves they're pulling off in the turtle suits, the score of the movie is starting to crescendo. I didn't mention it earlier, but you can tell Shredder is serious because he removed his cape. Each turtle tries, but fails. Except for Leonardo, he gets a hit in, which I thought was a nice touch, him being the leader and all. It's a nice subtle detail that he's just a smidge above his brothers, but still not good enough to defeat the Shredder. Although Raph shows he can be a leader a bit too when the turtles are on the ropes, he tries to get to the root of the problem when all the chaos is going on, front and center, asking the Shredder straight up, man the turtle. Where's Splinter? I love this part. As a little kid, I was like, damn, Raphael is stepping up. But this is when Shredder mentally breaks down Leonardo, though, and draws him into his trap. I love this final fight. I feel like they could have done so much more with this movie franchise. The second movie is alright, but with what this movie did, they could have done so much more with the sequels. But maybe that's what makes it special that there's only one. Anyways, number one isn't a scene probably that you're thinking of. It's just a small scene between two characters low light and no action. Here it is. Raphael, come sit by me. We couldn't just wait till morning. You will listen now. My master Yoshi's first rule was possess the right thinking. Only then can one receive the gifts of strength, knowledge, and peace. I have tried to channel your anger, Raphael, but more remains. Anger clouds the mind. Turned inward, it is an unconquerable enemy. You are unique among your brothers, for you choose to face this enemy alone. But as you face it, do not forget them, and do not forget me. I am here, my son. Splinter speaking with Raphael, to me, this scene is stunning. A father and son, a son with a certain way of dealing with things that's different than his brothers. It's a beautiful scene, and I really don't know what else to say. It speaks for itself, which is what makes it so perfect. It's my favorite scene in all of Ninja Turtles. But that's it. That wraps it up for my list of the top 10 best scenes in the 1990 film Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Now, big question, what's your favorite scene in TMNT 1990? I literally have more than 10 left on the cutting room floor that I wanted to put in this video, but that'll probably do on a follow-up video sometime. There's just so many memorable scenes in this movie. Now, let me know down below what's your favorite. But that's it for this video. I did a Christmas special talking about We Wish You a Turtle Christmas a couple days ago. Go check that out if you're bored or whatever. But thanks for watching this video. I'll hit up Secret of the U's and TMNT3 some other time and the rest of the films as well. So if you're not subscribed and you want more TMNT content in your life, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit thumbs up as it helps with the visibility of the channel and the video. And it helps me out a lot. Thanks once again. I'll see you in a little bit with another Turtles video. Take care, everyone.
pizza dudes got 30 seconds.